guess now is as good a time as any to go ahead and search for my Vegas update, see if there's anything else interesting. Maybe they've got the bingo game. Oh, hang on. I forgot about win slots. I should probably uninstall. It has blackjack now? It's the ace of Vegas. The ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And, well, every time I do a win slots video, I seem to be the harbinger of doom. Hyper bonus strategies? Boom. Update. VIP update figured out? Boom. Another update. Free to play figured out? Boom. Update. It's part of the reason that not only did I stop making win slots videos, I, quite frankly, stopped playing the win slots app. The idea of getting to stay at the win Las Vegas is pretty amazing, especially for playing a video game. But the constant changes, as well as the bizarre feeling that I'm somewhat responsible for said changes, puts me off on it. So it comes as no surprise that when the win slots blackjack game showed up in my app, when I opened it for the first time since October, it was a shocker. So I figured while I was here, instead of deleting the app, I've decided to give it one final go and do a final video. So for 2021, this is how to play Winslots Blackjack. Also a quick update, I did try a new emulator for this game. It's called LD Player. I used it specifically because my old emulator historically hasn't let me keep playing Winslots after updates, and this one has. If you want to try it out yourself, I've got a link to a free copy in the description box down below. The best part is, if you download it and use it a couple times in the next day or so to play your favorite mobile game or app, then you're supporting the channel without spending a dime. Just use my affiliate link in the description box down below. But enough about that, let's get back to Winslots. Winslots Blackjack is located scenically on the main menu of Winslots. It's a six deck game with the following rules. Rule number one, Blackjack pays out three to two. Rule number two, regular hands pay one to one. Rule number three, you can split up to four hands. And rule number four, you can also double on hands. Okay, that seems pretty basic. There are different bet levels that you unlock as you level up. Opening levels are 10,000, level 10 bets are 100,000, you get a million at level 20, and at level 25, you get to top out at five million coins per bet. Once you open the game, it gets a bit more complicated. You'll see right off the bat that even though you're at a certain bet level, that's not your maximum bet. On the contrary, you'll find you can actually increase this bet up to eight times the initial amount, meaning a 10,000 win coin bet can actually go up to 80,000, and a 5 million win coin bet actually goes up to 40 million. Also, there are a few additional rules that the first page left out. One of the most important ones, too. The dealer draws to 16 and hits on soft 17, and the player may only split three times or up to four hands, whichever comes first. That's pretty critical in the strategy. I know it's just different phrasing, but it's good to know. Also, you'll notice that despite there being three bases available, when slots blackjack only allows a 1v1 situation. There are no other players on the board, which is good if you're following a specific strategy, or if you're counting. The bad news is, unlike my Vegas blackjack, you can't optimize your gem earnings by playing multiple hands. This can be pretty painful on long losing streaks, or more importantly, short winning streaks meaning you'll have a tougher time mitigating losses and have fewer opportunities to maximize the wins. It's a bit disappointing in that regard. Regardless, here's how you play. You set your bet on a certain level. Then you can use basic strategy to try and stay aloft. I started at the bottom personally and followed basic strategy as shown below. Photo credit goes out to Christina from My Vegas Gifts Guides and Giveaways for generating the strategy card I used for this. I combined this with a basic high-low system over the course of 100 hands. This yielded about a 59% payback percentage, but if you follow the basic strategy card, I suspect you'll have a similar one over that same period of time. Also, a couple weird things we noticed during gameplay. You're never offered insurance. Even more so, the dealer doesn't check the whole card ever, meaning you can draw into a 21, then push rather than losing straight up to a natural 21. I'll have to do the math on this, but something tells me that it's a bit disadvantageous. Honestly, if anything, it wastes time here. Another thing I noticed is, after you as the player bus, the game keeps playing and draws anyway. What's more insulting is the fact that if the dealer busts, nothing happens. 
meaning there's no benefit for it to keep drawing even if it does bust, it's not going to affect the outcome of the hand. Also worth noting that if you're playing events, blackjack has no effect on these events. Needless to say, there's no way to get a free game in blackjack unless the dealer makes a mistake, but again, that's relegated to real life. I suppose if you got a free bet, but never mind that, because free bet isn't an option in this game. The point is that there are challenges that would be impossible to complete by playing blackjack anyway, but the hands don't count as spins, and collecting win coins doesn't count in any blackjack game. So why is the blackjack game even there? I suppose to give win slots more variety. Card games are pretty popular at casinos, and offering a skill-based alternative to the slot grind could serve as a better strategy for some players, especially those without good luck of the slots. Downside to that is, I played 100 hands at roughly 150,000 coins per hand, and didn't do well, picking up a single lousy gem over that hour. It's a pity that I can't do the scratchers, but I'm staying afloat otherwise, I suppose. Unfortunately, win slots decided to put blackjack as their card game of choice. Not a problem within of itself, but frankly, it's just not as good or as varied as my Vegas Blackjack. This is a valiant attempt, but without a separate app entirely for Winslot's Blackjack, this just feels tacked on. Maybe they'll improve things after the beta period, but I've got a sneaking suspicion that Winslot's gets wind of my opinions on my videos, so maybe this will influence some improvements if they haven't planned them already. Also, I'm curious as to why Win even picked Blackjack in the first place, when they're more so known for Poker and Baccarat. A massively multiplayer online poker game for Win might revitalize the Win Slots community and the app itself, and possibly fix that string of bad reviews in the Play Store from when they went to their new pay-to-win model. Personally, I would have preferred Baccarat. It fits Win's theme more and it could serve as a way to get more Americans interested in the game and appeal to a larger Asian audience as a whole. Maybe Winslots remembers when Baccarat High Rollers beat the actual Win Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas a few years ago, and they don't want to encourage low rollers to get the same idea. Overall, I feel like Winslots Blackjack has some potential, but won't end up any better than any other apps on the platform. It's fine for being an add-on to the slot game, but it's not really enough to keep me playing win slots for much longer. Alright then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tutorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we come back to gameplay, let's try out the new game in my Vegas called King and Kraken. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Viva Las Vegas.